Kim Anderson, our crop marketing specialist, joins us now. And Kim, let's just kind of start off with an overview of what's been going on in the markets this week. Essentially nothing. You look at the uh, Ken, that KC uh, March contractor, July contract, just wallowing around plus or minus a nickel or two. Uh, the March contracts, uh, it's got support down at 465. It's got resistance at around 480. It's running somewhere around 470, 475 in that. If you want to widen that out just a little bit, and it hadn't been there in the last couple of weeks, it's got a, a floor right now our, our strong support at 451 and uh, resistance at uh, 496 and if you want to convert that to July contract just add 20 cents to that March and that's about where it's going to hit those numbers. Now normally markets are a little bit more volatile why are things so quiet right now? Well there's just nothing going on you've got the the 2015-16 marking your wheat crop it's all in the bin uh, we've completed uh, southern hemisphere uh, harvest uh, you've got the uh, winter wheat crop we got estimates of the of the acreage planted acres around the world those crops uh, US uh, Ukraine Russia France uh, wherever uh, they're in dormancy and they won't be coming out of dormancy till you know late February early March and so there's really just nothing going on in the market and uh, and you listen to market analysts and uh, they've got to look for smoke and mirrors to, to to fill their time let's talk about US export prices and kind of how they look in comparison to competitors well well, the U.S. prices, uh, export prices, well above the competitors. Uh, you look at Argentina. Of course, Argentina they dropped that 23% uh, export tax, and and their their crop right now, or their export uh, wheat, is 84 cents a bushel less than the U.S. wheat. Uh, Russia. I read that they were uh, uh, exporting 12.5% protein wheat. That's a good quality wheat for 68 cents a bushel less than the U.S. wheat. And the French uh, soft red wheat is running about the same level as the as the Russian crop. So right now our, our wheat is priced well above the uh, the world's market price. With that in mind, what's your harvest price projection? Then? Well, you look at it harvest, uh, you know, I've been talking about $4.50 in central Oklahoma. It'd be a little less than that in southern, maybe a little higher than that in northern. I'd say $4.50 to $4.75 with the, the less planted acres uh, that, that we got reported on a week or so ago. And so I think it's right in that $4.50 to $4.75 level. Uh, we'll just have to wait and harvest to see how good that projection is. Between now and then, economic strategy for producers then? I think what, produ what producers uh, n need to be thinking about right now is, uh, is, is getting their equipment ready for harvest. Uh, I think they need to look at top dressing the wheat, make sure that they've got the nutrients to produce a quality crop. You know, a, a big problem would be is if we have a, a large crop and it's uh, low protein and it's, it's not marketable. You need that 12, 12 and a half percent protein to, to uh, match the, that Russian wheat that uh, or the Ukrainian wheat that they're going to be exporting so I think they need to look at the the top dressing I think they need to, to uh, make sure they understand how much they've got invested in this wheat crop so that they can calculate their uh, cost of production uh, on a per bushel basis to help them market the wheat as we come into next year and then I, I think they need to look at their economic situation and make plans for finishing out this crop and and establishing the 16 crop. Okay, Kim Anderson, thanks a lot. We'll see you next week.